Home Journal, Team Kestema. Welcome, YouTube. If you stumbled in, I'm glad you're here. Take a seat. They're limited because we're jumping into a civil PE review problem. That simple. So get ready. It's structural based, structural specific. Before we begin, if you're new to the site and you're just like, what the hell's going on here? This is, this is so fantastic. Maybe subscribe. Stick around. I'd love it. I know this team would love it. If you're returning, welcome back. Love to see you. Let's jump right into it. All right, so this one's pretty straightforward today, but uh, you know, it's all about tackling the basics because we want to make sure that we get every single one of the bunnies. You got to get the layups. You got to get all of them. They're, they're far and few in between on the PE exam, but when you can get them, it's just going to absolutely increase the chances of you passing and doing well. Rebar called for in a structural detailing states number eight vertical dowels at six inches on center, uh, alt number eight to four feet AFF with number eight to seven feet AFF. Which of the following figures shows this detail correctly? So no calcs today, as you can see, this is more of a fundamentals in terms of uh, structural detailing, which when you first start your engineering career, uh, especially in a structural firm, this is what you'll be doing a lot of. You'll be a structural designer, not a professional engineer or even an engineer um, due to legal reasons. You usually can't call yourself an engineer until you actually have your license. So this is for all those structural designers out there. But uh, let's take a look. We got four options here. So what am I going to break down? What are, the, what are the things that I notice? Well, we have number eight. Well, we know that number eight, those equal the bar size. So we have number eight bars, uh, and that's rebar. This is reinforced concrete. They're detailing rebar here. Totally, this is the basic stuff, guys. I mean, come on. I know you're all just shaking your heads right now. So let's just get let's get this one wrapped up, huh? So if we have number eights, we take a look through. Well, we already know. Freaking get this weak sauce out of here. B and C can't work because they called out. I already crossed over it. But they called out number sixes. So N O to B and C ejected. You're gone. So that leaves us with A and D. So 50-50 shot right here. So we're already looking pretty good, but. Let's break down the rest of that uh, of the detailing. You have a distance, so you always have a bar size and a bar spacing. That's just if you didn't have those things, you the information that you're providing would be kind of pointless. You know, that's those are the two main things that go into specifying reinforcing in concrete. So we already went over our sizes. Now we're doing spacing. So six inches OC. No, that's uh not original content, that is just uh, on center. So you have a bar here, then you have a bar some distance away. In engineering or in structural detailing, you always call out on center. So that means on the center line of the bar, that is, and then to the center line of the next bar, that is the spacing that you're calling out. So in this case, it's six inches on center and that doesn't help us out here because again, B and C got it wrong again with eight inches and eight inches. B and C, somebody uh, had a few too many cocktails, but uh, all right, so still A and C or A and D. Now we see AFF two times here. You might be saying, what is AFF? AFF stands for above finish floor. So that is like you would think. It's above your finished floor surface. And right here, in all of these examples, they call out FF, which is, you guessed it, finished floor. So they specify where the finished floor is, so they give one more length, uh, one more dimension here. So four feet, and then seven feet, AFF. So what they are saying is that uh, the vertical dowels stick out four feet above the finished floor, and then they alternate sticking out seven feet above finished floor. So you have ALT here, that stands for alternating, so that means you're gonna have one bar, let's see if this is the surface here, one bar sticking out seven feet, then you're gonna have your next bar sticking out four feet, then your next bar sticking out seven feet and yada 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 and so on and so on so they alternate back and forth and again we have a spacing of six inches 
as always, that's typical. That would be our finished floor. So, if we use that information, let's see, well, uh, here and here, uh, for D, both of those dimensions are correct. Uh, you have the six inches, so that looks good. You have the number eight size, so that looks good. Everything looks pretty good here, except, oh, now, wait a minute. So, let's, uh, let's pump the brake. So, you see down here, look at where the dimension is beginning. It's beginning, like, down in the concrete, like, to the bottom of the piece of rebar. So, they're showing kind of like a drilled and doweled type of situation here. And that dimension is being taken not at finished floor. So these, even though the dimensions are correct, the four and seven, uh, you have, they're not being taken above finished floor. That's where the dimension needs to start. And for some reason, they're showing two, two dowels uh, at every, at every position, which that just doesn't even, they don't state anything about that. So D, we can say, is out of here, which leaves us with A by default, and there we are. That is one point for the PE exam. I'm going to call that a big, fat W, team. Great work. Quickie today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're still a little confused, leave a comment. Don't feel bad. We're going to get you laser-focused, and I mean laser-focused for this exam. So don't be afraid. Speak out. Speak up. Because it's all about figuring it out together. Okay? This is Rich with Kestfa. I'll see everybody next time. Later.